Now that you've logged in and set up your first crew, let's look at how to add your first timesheet. Down on the bottom right, there's a plus button. This is always going to be the add button. You'll use that to add timesheets, and when you have a timesheet, how to add jobs. So click the plus button to add your first timesheet. It will automatically bring up today's date, which is the date you're going to want to track your time against. So you'll just be able to click next and continue. If you have to change the date, you can click the plus or minus button, or even swipe these numbers with your fingers and they'll change. This is today's date, so I'm going to click next and continue. Now you can see I'm in my timesheet for today's date. I need to add my first job to the timesheet. To add a job, go down to the bottom right again and click that plus button. It's going to ask you what job you're working on. You're going to pick the drop down list and pick the job you're currently working on. In this case, we're working on the Jones job. Press next when you're ready to continue. Now it's going to load my crew in here. This is the crew I set up when I did the crew setup at the beginning video. If Jeff's not with me today, but Brent is, all I need to do is touch Jeff, then touch Brent. So now I've changed my crew for the day, and it'll remember this for the rest of this timesheet. Click next when you're ready to continue. Now it asks me to assign tasks. So now I'm telling the system what each employee is working on. If you're all working on mulching, use the top one. It'll set everybody to mulching. That's the simplest way to set your crew to work on a task. If Sam and Brent are working on mulching, but Sam Adams up here is working on warranty work, then you can set them independently as well. When you're ready to continue, click Next. Now it just asks you to confirm the date and time. This is today's date, and it's automatically going to read today's time from the time on your phone. If you forgot to clock in when you got to the site, you can still backdate it, but note, the office will see that you clocked in at a different time than it actually was. But sometimes it happens. We're going to forget. If you've made a mistake, go down to the pencil button and click Edit. Each time you click Edit, it's going to make a flag for the office to know that you've changed this time manually. If I need to change the start time back to 2 o'clock, I'm going to click the start time and back it up until it says 2 o'clock. Then I'll hit Set. And now if I'm happy, I'll click Next. Now the Jones job shows up in green. That lets me know these tasks are active. I've got Sam working on the warranty, and he started at 2. And I've got the other Sam and Brent working on mulching, and they both started at 2 as well. If I want to see how a job's doing, click the magnifying glass. This shows me the task name, and the estimated versus actual hours to date. This is real-time information on how many hours were estimated for this task and how many hours we've already used up on this task. You can also enter site notes here as well. When you're done reviewing the task, click either the Save button or the Back button to return to the timesheet. Now let's pretend we're done at the Jones job and we're moving on to the next job. You don't need to clock out of the Jones job, you just need to clock in to the next task you're working on, and it'll automatically clock you out of this job. So to add my next task, I just do the exact same thing I did for the Jones job. Down to the bottom right, pick your new job, pick next again. Notice it remembered Jeff was off today and Brent was in my task today, or in my crew today, so it kept that setting. I'll click next. Now what are we doing at this job? We're all working on grounds maintenance, for example. Click Next. My time is right. Click Next. And now it's going to prompt me for task notes on the job that I'm just finishing. Note that it's asking me for notes on the warranty and the mulching. So the warranty, we could say, replace perennials or whatever we did on site. And the mulching, maybe I'll put installed uh, seven yards pine mulch. Click Save. Now the Jones job shows up in gray now. That means we're clocked out of that job. And you can see if I look, we clocked in at 2 o'clock and I clocked out at 2.10.
The green job means the job I'm currently punched in at. And you can see Sam, Sam and Brian are all punched in at this job. You can continue adding new jobs until you're done for the day. When you're done for the day, you need to use the clock out button. Hit clock out to end your day. If you're only ending the day for one or two employees, you can uncheck an employee so that they don't get clocked out. So if you're ending the day, for example, at site, but the driver gets paid till you get back to the shop, you can clock out everybody but the driver. In this case, I'm gonna show you how everybody gets clocked out. So I'm gonna have everybody in red, which means everybody's getting clocked out. Your clock out date and your clock out time are gonna appear up here. Same thing with before. If I need to change this manually, I can use the pencil button. But remember, whenever you use the pencil button to edit the time, it's gonna flag it for the office that you manually change the time from what it actually was. Click save when you're ready to clock out. And on this job, it actually asked me what tasks I completed. So it's asking me, did I do fertilization? Did I do mulch? Did I do a quality inspection? Let's say we did a quality inspection and I'll put property look good and save. Now I'm clocked out of all the tasks in my timesheet. Now I'm ready to submit my timesheet to the office. This little piece of paper here is the submit button. Note that this will show up as in progress, which means you can still make changes to it until you submit. But once you submit it to the office, then you can't make changes anymore. So when you're perfectly happy that this is ready and accurate, click submit. Before it submits, it's gonna ask us if we took lunch. It says what date and what time and how long did you take lunch for? So pick the time and pick the duration and it'll automatically deduct lunch from the task that you were working on at 12 o'clock or whatever time you've selected here. If you didn't take lunch that day, just uncheck and it'll set everybody as not taking lunch. If they're in green, it means they did take lunch and it's gonna deduct this many minutes from their pay. I'm gonna leave it off because in this sample timesheet, we were only in here for five minutes. Click save when you're done and it'll give you one last chance to review your timesheet. Because I just did my timesheet here, it's very short. You can see I worked from two o'clock to 2.11, which is 0.18 hours. Your timesheet would more likely be a full day. If everybody's time here is accurate, you're ready to submit. If you need to change something, you can use the back button and go back and make some changes. Assuming that I'm ready to submit, I'll click the save button and it says it's ready. Are you sure you're ready to submit? I'll hit OK. It'll think for a second and then show me that timesheet is submitted. So when it shows up in green and the status here says submitted, it means the office has got this timesheet and I'm done my day. In the next video, we'll go through some more advanced stuff like how to edit times on the fly, how to edit and switch tasks, or even really how to track billable hours or activities.